Hi Theo and Charlie. Today I'm going to read you um, a book that's called Where the Wild Things Are. The pictures and the story are by Maurice Sendak. Where the Wild Things Are. The Night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. There's Max. He has on his little wolf suit. And another, so he is very mischievous, isn't he? Look at him. He's chasing the dog. His mother called him, wild thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. There he is, he's in trouble. He got sent to bed without dinner. That very night in Max's room, it, a forest grew. There's Max in his room, and can you see all the trees growing? Yeah. And grew. Now look at the trees. and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world around him. And the ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. There he is in his boat and he's sailing off. What do you think he's gonna go to? And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. There he is. What do you think? Do you think that's scary? And when he came to a place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Here's the wild things. Look at them. They're pretty scary. Do you think Max looks like he's scared? I oh, don't know. He doesn't look very scary. <laughs> Till Max said, be still. And he tamed them with the magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and they called him the most wild thing of all. Yep, there he is. He's taming them all. Do they look scared? What do you think? And made him king of the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. So there he is in his crown. He's the king of the wild things. <gasps> Look at him. There's the wild rumpus. They're all dancing around. Oh my goodness. You know, they're swinging from the trees together. <gasps> now they're, look, look at the king of the wild things. Now stop, Max said, and he sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely. And he wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. Does he look sad? What do you think? Does Max look sad? But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. 
We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. I think they're sad to see Max go. And he sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting. See his supper waiting on the table for him? Do you think Max is happy now? Look at his face. I think he looks happy. And it was still hot. <laughs> That's the end of the story. That's such a fun story. I love that story. I love you guys too. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.